Hello, my name is Kendall Payne, and I am going to uh, be doing the prenatal education, healthy pregnancy education video. Um, so first, I'm going to introduce myself, perform hand hygiene, uh, pri perform, or provide privacy, and verify uh, two patient identifiers. Um, for this um, education session, we want to make sure that the patient has privacy, um, so we're going to close that door and that curtain. So first, we want to ask the patient or educate the patient on how often uh, they want to meet with the provider during the 40-week pregnancy. So first 28 weeks, you're going to meet with the provider once a month. Um, from 28 weeks to 36 weeks, um, you're going to meet with the provider every two weeks. And then from 36 weeks to delivery, you're going to meet with the provider once a week. So what they will do during the, what the provider and the healthcare team will do during that appointment as they will measure vital signs, weight, um, measure the development of the mother and the fetus, as well as measurements of the baby, um, including like the fundal height and heart rate, um, also um, the blood type, um, RH factor, STDs, CBCs on the mother, and um, immunity to chickenpox. Um, from 26 to 28 weeks, um, gestational diabetes will be checked, and then from 18 to 20 weeks, we'll check the sex of the baby. So proper nutrition during pregnancy, um, we want to increase the caloric intake. Um, we want to make sure that the mother is eating enough calories to provide nutrients to the baby, but not too much. Um, so we want to... Um, check the weight gain that is determined by the BMI. So um, if the BMI is 18 to 24.9, um, we are expecting a 6 to 12 weight gain, healthy weight gain. Um, so the um, less BMI, the more um, in, or, uh, healthy weight we can gain. Um, so with the weight, we want to educate on the diet, so we want to make sure that the mother is um, eating less sugar to help prevent gestational diabetes. We also want to educate that less um, saturated fats will help prevent against gestational diabetes as well, and then less salt will prevent against maternal hypertension. So, uh, we also want to educate the mother on uh, taking a prenatal vitamin um, with calcium and iron. Um, we especially want the mother to um, take an iron supplement if they are anemic. We also want the mother to start a folic acid supplement to prevent neural tube defects. Um, and then we want to educate on proper exercise. So it is important that we tell the mother that these need to be low impact workouts. So nothing such as running. Um, a good exercise for mothers is yoga. Um, 30 minutes a day is enough exercise for yoga and the mother. Um, we also want to cover common complaints with pregnancy. So lots of mothers complain of nausea, uh, vomiting, um, and that may be relieved with light snacking or toast. Um, this can cause you to not want to eat, but it's best if you do eat during these cases of nausea and vomiting. Um, we also see lots of fatigue that can be um, helped with periodic rest periods. Mothers also complain of constipation, and we could um, help this with increasing fluids and fibers. And um, we, lastly, we want to cover with the mother um, when to call the provider or see the provider. So if the mother um, notices any bleeding, any bleeding can be a sign of miscarriage and we want to contact the provider immediately. We um, also want to contact the provider for hyperemesis gravidum, <laughs> gravidum um, which is uncontrolled vomiting. Um, this can be caused by severe hydration, poor nutrition, and can ultimately end in hospitalization. 
Um, the other thing to call the provider about is pl placental abruption. Um, so this can be uh, a uh, this can occur as increased pain in the abdomen, dark red bleeding, and this can be deadly to the mother. Um, and the cause of this is hypertension. So we want to let the provider know immediately. Um, lastly, we want to ask the mother if they have any questions, anything we can help them with, and um, be sure that we help them to schedule um, their appointments during their 40-week pregnancy. That way we could cover all of this information for the duration of the pregnancy. That way we aren't overloading them with education um, right at the beginning of their pregnancy. So yeah, skill complete.